So J.K. Dobbins Going back to where it all started With Greg Roman They are reuniting uh, Because he is expected to sign a one year deal With those L.A. Ravens Well L.A. Chargers Same stuff anyway Uh, But shout out to J.K. Dobbins We happy for J.K. Dobbins that he is getting another opportunity We figured he was going to get another new opportunity But it was just a matter of Where and when Because when is even more important than the where Because you think about the timing with this whole thing the timing of this whole entire jk dobbins process and the timing has been very very critical and i'm explaining to you exactly why make sure you subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and leave like on the video because it helps out the channel a ton and i don't want y'all missing anything now uh with jk dobbins we talked about timing remember about a month and change ago when jk dobbins dropped that video of him running he was running on a treadmill and he was running in that uh that that training room remember that i know y'all do uh, that was all timing based because shortly after that, maybe like a couple of weeks after that, it was no coincidence that his agent, his people, they dropped that report where it said, oh, J.K. Dobbins has officially been cleared for football activities. He can resume football activities and he'll start meeting with teams. And I was like, oh, yeah, we know what this is all about. This is the business. It's the business. But it was super important that J.K. Dobbins in his camp, they dropped that report when they did because as we know jk dobbins has often been injured it's been unfortunate we know jk dobbins can be an rb1 in this league he can hang with the best of them but unfortunately the injuries have changed and altered his career and just put it on a bad trajectory so hopefully uh with the charges he can remain healthy but it's very important that they drop that report when they did because the draft was coming up now free agency it had already came and gone Uh, And the big running backs had already got their deals, but there was still some other running backs out there. There's always some running backs out there. But with the draft coming up, it was so important for J.K. Dobbins to get with a team before the draft, in my opinion, because teams can obviously draft some different running backs. But that's not where it stops, because there are still a bunch of undrafted rookie free agent running backs that teams sign. Like, look at the team that J.K. Dobbins just came from, for example, the Baltimore Ravens. One of their most consistent running backs was an undrafted rookie free agent from 2018, that being Gus Edwards. And they're known for signing plenty of undrafted rookie free agents. Keaton Mitchell, one of their most explo- their most explosive running back this well, last season, he was an undrafted rookie free agent. So teams are going to find these undrafted rookie free agents. They're going to find the, the rookies that get drafted. And at the running back position, they can get them for so cheap. So had J.K. Dobbins not been given an opportunity until after the draft, it would have been much, much harder for him to latch on with a team because teams get this young talent. They get this young, healthy talent, and they can be like, oh, no, we don't need no J.K. Dobbins. But he is in the right situation, and he's in a situation that makes the most sense because as we discussed earlier, these L.A. Ravens, they up to it again. Um, Of course, they got general manager Joe Hortiz, uh, who used to work for the Ravens. They got... Jim Harbaugh, brother of John Harbaugh, who's head coach of the Ravens. They got good old Greg Roman, who was a former offensive coordinator of the Ravens. J.K. Dobbins, we remember when he complained about carries, especially in the playoff game. Um, but it's, it's just weird how he's going back to that. But I guess the issue must not have been that big. But at the same time, desperate times, in my opinion, they call for desperate measures. Because with J.K. Dobbins, who was going to give him an opportunity? Now, we had heard that he visited with the L.A. Ravens before with the Chargers and we had also heard shortly after that that he had a visit with the Chiefs but then right after that visit with the Chiefs guess what they did they brought back Clyde Edwards Elia they brought him back and that kind of gave us an indication like oh well, maybe they not really looking at J.K. Dobbins like that anymore on to the Chargers or well, really back to the Chargers um, but he should be around some familiar faces because him and Gus Edwards are going to be sharing the backfield yet again um, and then they're going to be getting blocked, blocked for by um, Ben Mason, another former Baltimore Raven. Uh, tight ends also share in the blocking assignments. Another former Baltimore Raven, Hayden Hurst. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of familiar faces. Oh, another person in the blocking assignment who's going to be literally on every single block and play. Uh, and he's going to touch the ball every single snap. Center Bradley Bozeman, another former Baltimore Raven. So, yeah, a lot of familiar faces over there. It's nice when you go to a new place of work, a new place of employment, new company, brand new company. 
But you see some of your old friends Oh yeah we used to work together back then Oh yeah we had a good relationship back then Oh yeah we was cool back then over at That's exactly how it is for J.K. Dobbins But it's going to be fun It's going to be real fun to see how this goes for him I hope it does go well uh, For both him and Gus and All them old Ravens I hope it goes really well for him um, And all up until they play the Baltimore Ravens That's when you don't, you don't need to do so good You can chill that game But all the other games go off and go do your thing